What comes to mind when you think of the largest construction projects in the world? If you guessed airports, canals, and subways, you'd be on the right track. And of course, there are industrial complexes and utility projects, but some of the current projects that make the list might surprise you, such as the International Space Station and an entertainment park that makes Disney World look like Mickey Mouse. Al Maktoum International Airport, Dubai no other airport would prepare you for the scale of Dubai's Al Maktoum International Airport, which extends over more than 21 square miles. The facility is designed to handle 200 wide-body aircraft at a time. The airport's second expansion phase alone has an estimated cost of more than $32 billion. Originally scheduled for completion in 2018, the latest expansion phase has been delayed. Jubail 2, Saudi Arabia Jubail 2 is a 22-year-long industrial city project that began its second phase in 2014 with an 11 billion expansion budget. When completed, it will comprise at least 100 industrial plants, an 800,000 cubic meter desalination plant, miles of railways, roads and highways, and an oil refinery producing at least 350,000 barrels per day. The entire project is slated to be finished in 2024. Dubai Land, Dubai a total of three Walt Disney Worlds can fit inside the Dubai Land complex. At 278 square kilometers in size, the 64 billion Dubai Land will have six parts. Theme parks, sports venues, ecotourism, health facilities, science attractions, and hotels. It will also have the world's largest hotel with 6,500 rooms and a 10 million square feet mall. The project is scheduled for completion in 2025. International Space Station Space The International Space Station circles the Earth every 92 minutes. Created by a consortium of 15 nations and 5 space agencies, it has a currently scheduled construction cost that exceeds $60 billion. The eventual cost of the space station and its completed expansions could exceed $1 trillion, by which point it could become a habitat for up to 1 million off-planet occupants. South-North Water Transfer Project China the north of China is home to almost 50% of China's population but has only about 20% of the country's water resources. To remedy this imbalance, China has funded the construction of three huge canals, each more than 600 miles long and will carry water to the north from China's three largest rivers. The project has a 48-year construction schedule. London Crossrail Project The world's first underground train system continues to grow adding 26 miles of tunnel that will eventually connect 40 stations. The estimated cost of construction is $23 billion. The project is scheduled for completion in phases, with the first new, the Elizabeth Line, expected to go into service in 2019, followed by the remaining lines. High Speed Railway, California Work on California's high-speed train began in 2015 and is scheduled for completion in 2029. It will connect eight of the ten largest cities in the state and reach from San Diego in the south to San Francisco in the north. The project will be completed in two phases. Phase 1 will connect Los Angeles to San Francisco. Phase 2 will extend connections to San Diego and Sacramento. The train will be 100% electric and will be powered entirely by renewable energy and capable of speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. Cho Shinkansen, Japan Officially called the linear Cho Shinkansen, Japan's newest high-speed rail line will take travelers from Tokyo to Nagoya, 286 kilometers and 40 minutes at speeds up to 505 kilometers per hour. This leg of the high-speed journey is scheduled for completion by 2027. A later phase will extend the line to Osaka. About 86% of the Tokyo-Nagoya line will be underground requiring extensive tunnel construction. Beijing Airport, China Beijing International Airport will eventually surpass Dubai's Al Maktoum International Airport in cost, total square miles, and passenger and plane capacity. The airport's first phase was completed in time for the 2008 Olympiad. Further expansion is scheduled for completion by 2025. Terminal 1, designed by the architect Zaha Hadid, incorporates several sustainable design concepts in a futuristic building envelope. Shanghai, China, Tot Town Tot Town is a new mixed-use development in Shanghai's Minhang district. The development will feature 1,000 apartment units, a 1.3 million square foot shopping mall, an additional 580,000 square feet of retail, 1.5 million square feet of office space, and a 53,000 square foot cultural center. Tot Town will also incorporate lots of greenery from green roofs to mini parks scattered throughout. Construction on the 1.5 billion project began in 2014. Cairo, Egypt New Cairo capital 
East of downtown Cairo, New Cairo capital, will be a 270 square mile hub with 21 new residential districts, enough housing for 5 million people. The development is being financed largely by Chinese developers. New Cairo capital will also feature 1,250 mosques and churches, a 5,000 seat conference center, nearly 2,000 schools and colleges, over 600 medical facilities, and what is projected to be the world's largest park. Egypt Housing Minister Mustafa Madboli told the BBC that the project would cost $45 billion and be complete by 2022. Construction began in 2015. Paris, France, Europe a city. In 2016, Paris began building an 8.6 million square foot mixed-use development called Europa City north of downtown. Designed by Danish architecture firm Jerke Inglis Group, Europa City promises housing, shops, and restaurants, though the exact numbers of each are not confirmed yet. The development is also slated to include plazas, an artificial ski slope, open walkways, a golf system, and a new transit system. Triangle de Gonis, the suburb where it will be located, is largely rural, but according to Europa City developers, the goal of the 3.4 billion project is to connect the area with urban Paris and reduce congestion downtown. Construction started in 2016 and is expected to wrap up by 2024. Los Angeles, California, New Hall Ranch. The New Hall Ranch development in Santa Clarita Valley will bring 21,500 residential units to Los Angeles County by 2035. It will feature a mix of housing, including single family homes, condos, and apartments, with about 10% price at below market rates. New Hall Ranch was originally proposed in 1994, but developers had trouble breaking ground due to legal troubles with environmental groups that said the 14 billion project would severely disrupt the local ecosystem. New Hall Ranch will start out as two villages with 5,500 homes and 2.5 million square feet of retail space between them. It will also preserve 10,000 acres of public outdoor space. While Los Angeles' pace of housing development is slowing in 2017, the city is still on track to meet Mayor Eric Garcetti's goal of 100,000 new units by 2021. As Curb notes, a new report from Abundant Housing shows that 3,850 units were permitted in the first quarter of 2017, a number slightly smaller than in the first quarter of last year. LA is dealing with an affordable housing shortage of at least 500,000 units. Candlestick Point, San Francisco, USA Staying in Frisco, Candlestick Point is the name of the 272-acre redevelopment of Candlestick Park, former home of the San Francisco Giants and 49ers. The mega project, which is scheduled for completion in 2035 and is expected to cost at at least $3 billion, will have 7,218 homes, masses of office and retail space, a cultural center, and a hotel. Treasure Island Development, San Francisco, USA An artificial island that was built to host the 1940 Golden Gate International Exposition, San Francisco's Treasure Island served as a naval base until 1997 and is currently undergoing a $6 billion redevelopment. Slated for completion in 2035, the scheme will create a spanking new neighborhood complete with 8,000 homes, a multitude of retail space, hotel, and ferry terminal. Sao Paulo, Brazil, the city's new master plan. In 2014, Sao Paulo unveiled its new master plan, which will dramatically change the city over the next two decades. The plan calls for more people-oriented development, including new housing, bike lanes, dedicated bus lanes, and a reduction in the number of existing parking spaces. As Next City notes, the city currently faces a housing shortage of up to 500,000 units. Approximately 1.2 million Sao Paulo residents live in favelas. Concrete and iron shanty towns are abandoned buildings downtown, called cortices. According to the new master plan, the city plans to build 717,000 new residential units, 240,000 of which will be designed as affordable by 2030. The Centro de Aquo Social Por Misio, which was completed in 2015, was one of the very first buildings included in the plan to open. The four-story community center includes a bus stop, playing field, urban farm, terrace, and performance hall. This is it. Thank you for watching.